Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 9th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Having a look at space weather, of course, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes for the last 24, 48 hours. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun first, large plasma filament erecting from the southwestern limb there. As well, we have that pretty sizable and active and complex sunspot, which is Earth-facing right now. Not expected to do anything, but definitely keeping an eye on it. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, we've got two bright regions that are cresting in now. Most likely will be some pretty active sunspot regions. Quick look at last 48 hours outgoing. A little bit of plasma lift in the heliosphere. Other than that, not too much to talk about. No new Earth facing events have, have, have happened. Quick look at that complex sunspot and the plasma filament. And as well, the cresting, in, cresting incoming sunspot. And having another look at the sunspot here in action. Quick look here at 211 angstroms. A different view for y'all. And then 171 angstroms where there are no new earth-facing coronal holes to talk about. Nor developing in the limb right now. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. You can see no new sun events have happened since the last update and we were experiencing a g1 level storm just yesterday geostorm g1 level kp of five having a look here at lasco two and that is venus continuing on with its retrograde with our planet looking at a real-time solar wind as it's coming in at about 450 kilometers per second after being amped up to 550 kilometers per second, hence the KP index being raised to 5. G1 level geostorm. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range. Geomagnetic activity is coming down since early last night and pretty much overnight and early through today we are experiencing the solar storm. Most of Sweden and Finland and eastern Russia got most of the aurora. Looking at the forecast here for the next 24 hours. So down in Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. You're definitely going to see some lights tonight. Schumann resonance for today and amped up 36. 58. The Schumann resonance started last night going off the charts here. Amplitude of 58, quality of 12. That is a highly charged cosmic ray influx. And let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Most recently here, Tabilo with a 5.6 earthquake. Indonesia as well a 5.3. 4.8 here in Gorontolo, Indonesia. So all around the Banda Sea. And there are quite a few of volcanoes right there that are erupting. Having a look at the largest earthquake in the last 24 hours, New Britain region, Papua New Guinea, 5.9, and as well, Kokopo, 4.9, active region for volcanoes as well. And then our deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 602 kilometer depth, 4.6 Fiji, and that was also followed by a 453 kilometer depth as well. Kermadec Islands seeing a 5.0. Very quiet through Hawaii. No new earthquakes to report as some pressure is definitely being released in the summit caldera. Noting there the new cone inside the caldera. And that has grown quite a bit since I shown last. Stay tuned to these updates as I do update them every so often. Give you a quick look at that caldera. Overlooking the United States. 
most notable here, a 3.3, or sorry, uh, 2.6 Cobb. 3.3 is the most notable here. Palomar Observatory, California, 5-kilometer depth, as well as 4.7 here reported in the Gulf of California. Pretty quiet across the rest of the United States. Nicaragua still seeing minor aftershocks, 4.4, 4.9 today. And then action coming back to Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Caribbean plate. Minor activity, quiet through South America, only reporting one earthquake there, 4.2. And as well, a 5.5 here in Florina, Greece, at a 13-kilometer depth, 5.5. And that was also followed by a 5.0 that was just posted. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Kind of quiet, hovering just above 200 earthquakes, according to USGS across the map. Having a quick look. At the last seven days, way too quiet here through the North American plate in my mind. And as well, way too quiet in Japan. But it's not surprising with all of the activity that we had through the Eurasian plate up into Russia and China this week. 7.6 earthquake China. And as well, minor activity up into the African plate, Atlantic and as well, the Antarctic. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. I want to thank everybody for watching. Just have a plan and be ready. Something I wanted to show you here. Look at all of this slush and ice that's already growing off the coast of Alaska. You can see that's encroaching just from December 31st. Just interesting. I wanted to share you this sea ice growth in the Northeast Pacific Bering Sea. Have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center here. Most recent volcanoes getting updated. Reventador in Ecuador. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia. Senge in Ecuador. Here's the other volcano that awakened. Barren Island in India. Sabancaya in Peru. Fuego, Guatemala. Shivalich, Russia. Popo in Mexico. Wolf in Ecuador. Nevada de Chile in Colombia. Semeru, Indonesia. Santa Maria, Guatemala. Era in Japan. And that's about... 15 volcanoes getting updated today. And wow, look at the size of that system heading through the Atlantic, getting ready to take on Eastern Europe. We've got tornado watches and warnings going out across southeastern United States, Mobile, Alabama, Birmingham. And as well, we've got two tropical storms to talk about here. Tropical Cyclone 5, who has now developed, not yet named. And as well, Tropical Cyclone Tiffany, who is just northeast of the Australian continent, heading into the Northern Territory. And look at all these low-pressure systems heading through the Pacific, all joining forces here. One, two, three, four, five. Speaking of five, let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Daily Events Worldwide and as well Media Earth, starting out here, home base, Ontario. As, yeah, it was pretty nice this morning, went out for a round of disc golf, and it was muddy, muddy, muddy. Three degrees, but by tonight, it's going to be minus 12, minus 10 in some areas. Big high-pressure ridge moving in this week, so it's going to be dry and cold. Right up until Thursday, watch for more snow to come in for southern Ontario. But no major systems developing across the continent. Most of them are developing in the oceans. Again, overlooking western parts of the United States and Canada. Systems pounding Vancouver. But high pressure ridge is going to be hanging around Pacific Northwest. And as well, higher elevations still experiencing pretty cold temperatures. But high pressure ridge is going to win throughout the week. And then look at all these systems off the coast here. 
all going to be making their rounds through Alaska and the Aleutian Islands in the coming days. So watch for storm levels to alert and raise through Alaska. Overlooking the Atlantic. Looks like one system there developing eastern, central, and as well another one here developing off the coast. Pretty large low pressure center. Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge building in for central Europe. Low pressure center here coming through the Mediterranean. Looks like it's going to split its energies. One's going to go to Morocco. Tunisia could see snow in higher elevations. And then look at this beast of a system. Coming through the Norways, parts of western Russia, Finland, Sweden, eastern Europe. You're going to be affected by a very big system here. Strong winds, a lot of snow, very organized low. As well, heavy snow through northern Kuwait, Turkey, Georgia. Higher elevations going to see a lot of snow across the planet. Also seeing that over here in Nepal Valley. Big system here coming out of the Korean Gulf. It's going to bring rain and snow forecasted for Japan as it races into the Western Pacific. And then we've got Tropical Cyclone Tiffany. It was forecast to make landfall Tuesday, Wednesday, Northwest Territories. Northern Territories and most likely will be a strong Category 2 when it makes long, when it makes landfall. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide as I do have satellite imagery going of our weather across, across the world on the 24 of 7 live stream. As well, looking at rain here off and on throughout parts of southeastern United States. Low pressure center hanging around there. As well, we've got Tropical Cyclone 5 coming out of Fiji. Makes an interesting turn here. Heading southward. Overlooking Hawaii. No major weather changes coming to you. And then we get to South America as I had posted video of that rock slide in Brazil. And if people had gotten their daily due, they would not have they would have known not to be going around those highly flooded areas. Large atmospheric river has been affecting the region. The border with Brazil, Minas Gerais, Argentina for the past week. Another quick look here at the developing system. East Atlantic. Pretty strong lower level low. Overlooking Africa, you've got a low pressure center here developing South Africa. That might bring some potential flood alerts to some provinces throughout Africa. As well, Madagascar has got a pretty intense rain system heading across there Wednesday, Thursday. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out these massive systems that are spinning around our planet right now. Much love to everyone prayers for humanity. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the daily do keeping humanity aware and prepared. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.